you are a step above. We're still in our grooming series for the month of September, and this is for 12 September 2022. So this time we're going to talk about picking out clothing. I know <laughs> this will be fun. Mostly I'm talking about uh, guys in this video, but it applies to men and women, but the uh, focus I've done in my newsletter actually was, was for me, and although I will talk about women on the video, but find what looks right and what feels good for you, and it presents the image that you want to project to other people. And a lot of people don't think about that. They uh, tend to have the idea, well, everybody else dresses this way, so that's the way I will dress too. And <laughs> that's not the way to do it. Anyway, don't don't be one of the crowd because the crowd does it this way, I'm doing it this way. That's erroneous thinking. <laughs> anyway, so whether you want to hear this or not, dressing, how you dress, determines your level of success and happiness. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, you can roll your eyes around and say, what a bunch of hooey, I don't, you know, <laughs> I don't care. I've been around long enough, I know how you dress determines your success and your happiness. And I'm not talking about just happiness uh, at work, I'm talking about happiness at home, happiness at interacting with friends, happiness in everything that you do. So I'm going to ask you one question, and be honest with yourself, there's nobody else around, probably. Are you earning enough money today? that you could not go to work tomorrow or ever again and not have to worry about money or paying bills or maintain your lifestyle. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> so anyway, so you need to listen to me. <laughs> so I would never knowingly direct you guys in any way that would make your situation worse where you would be not as well off as you are now. My, my goal is to help you guys become better. <laughs> so a key to more success is dressing the part. And so I'm going to go into a little bit more depth here. How do you dress the part? Okay, fair question. You need to always be dressed a step above anyone you will encounter during your normal work day. Now, that's with your peers and a step above your peers. So say you're at a regular, you're just a regular employee. The next step above would be a manager. Well, you actually could dress as good as the manager if you wanted to, but don't dress as good as the president of the company. Why? Because then you would be going many steps above where you are. You just want to be a step above where you are now, where the rest of the people consider normal. So I'm going to use construction workers because I'm familiar with construction workers. Now, okay, how can a construction worker dress a step above? Well, I'll tell you, even when I dug ditches, this is some of the stuff I did. All right, you need to buy clothes appropriate for the work that you do. In my case, uh, I was digging ditches and I had to wear uh, thicker jeans. I had to wear... Uh, work boots and I had to wear a long sleeve shirt because of the debris and stuff that we encountered limbs and rocks and and other stuff was the shirt hot not particularly it's just a shirt it covered my arms wearing a short sleeve shirt uh, does not usually make you cooler what makes you cooler is 
how do you think about it? Yes, there's scientific research on this, so you guys can look it up. I'm not going into it. <laughs> anyway, here we go. So at night, when I would get out of the mud and muck and dirt and gravel and all the junk I was dealing in during the day, I would clean off my boots and I would polish them. Uh, I mean, I didn't do a super fantastic job, but I put I, my boots, work boots were uh, a brown color. So after I cleaned them off, and usually I had to wash them off because they, <laughs> they were pretty bad. So I'd wash them off, let them get them dry, then I would polish them with a polish that would resist the dirt and oil and grime and stuff that I would get into during the day. Well, this helped pre preserve the leather of my boots, and when I started working in the morning, I looked pretty good. <laughs> yes, I did, but at the end of the day, it looked so hot. At the beginning of the day, I did look good. I would iron my jeans, uh, and these jeans held a pretty good crease, so that was pretty easy. Uh, my clothes were always clean, and I wore a long sleeve shirt, and I would press my shirt, and I did my ironing myself. And uh, the shirt was a little bit thicker shirt because, uh, number one, didn't want it to be easily torn, and when you're encountering branches and other stuff like that, you want some material that's going to uh, hold up against the elements and things you come against. So that was something simple that I did, and any construction worker can do that. And was I tired when I got home? Yeah, I was tired. I usually got home after dark. It doesn't matter. Take the uh, well, of course, I would wash my clothes once a week, so I would iron them uh, when I finished taking them out of the dryer. So um, my clothes were already ironed and pressed. I didn't have to worry about doing that every night. But my boots I did have to clean every night. And it took me maybe 10 minutes to get all this junk off of them and clean them up and get them dry. Uh, if, you, if you're in a humid climate, climate, you can actually take a hair dryer and, and dry them off a little bit quicker. <laughs> okay, so how do you feel in your work clothes? This is important. I covered this more in depth in my newsletter this week. By the way, if you're not one of my gold members already for $9 a month, for $9 a month you get my weekly newsletter, you get videos that I do, uh, you also get a copy of every book I publish during the year for free I pay for the postage just go to www.patreon.com slash a step above and uh, become a gold member for nine dollars a month and for that you get 50 years worth of seminars and workshops all the knowledge that I've accumulated from books and magazines and audios and videos I have spent tens of thousands of dollars improving myself so that I can be more valuable at the jobs that I had and now I'm more valuable to you guys because I'm sharing that knowledge with you. So, I had to, whoops, hold on one second here. How do you do this thing? <laughs> trying to cut this tire off. It's supposed to be easy. Anyway, so, so consider that. Um, in fact, if y'all, um, would like the more in depth of this, if you'll email me at um, the rev, T H E R E V, at a step above dot life, uh, I'll send you this uh, week's newsletter for free so you can get this thing more in depth because I'm just running out of time here. I've talked about the interaction with other people and how to buy clothes. So assess yourself and your dress. Do you feel good about how you appear to other workers and clients? What wardrobe item can you upscale to become a step above? And don't go hog wild. You know, some people listen to me and they go, oh man, I will do this, 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 this. No, just do one thing. <laughs> just one thing. Uh, the video that I recommend this week that's in my newsletter uh, gives you one point of view and things that you can do. So remember, whatever you do, 
do your best to be a step above because being a step above in your clothing increases confidence. See you guys next time.